we talked about the basics and all the parts and now we are starting with the specific uh, areas or parts of our digestive system. And the first part that we are starting with is buccal cavity. Now to understand various parts of buccal cavity, let us quickly draw a diagram and label various things. And then we will take up various parts or structures which are inside the cavity. Now when we talk of the entry of food into our mouth or into our elementary canal, the opening is called mouth. So mouth can be termed as the anterior opening of elementary canal. Anterior opening. Now this mouth, it leads into a small space which is between the lips and the teeth. That is known as vestibule. So between the upper lip and the front incisors, if you roll our tongue, that area is the vestibule. So mouth is an opening which is guarded by two lips in case of human beings. So that opening is mouth. Now to understand the various areas, this is the nasal cavity from here or if we have to just add one more label, though it is not related directly with the digestive system, these are nostrils. So when we breathe in, the air goes into this chamber and this chamber is known as the nasal chamber. So this part is nasal chamber. The lower part of the buccal cavity here is the tongue and on the jaws we have teeth also. So this is the portion where we have teeth. Now this cavity is called the buccal cavity. That means on the top there is a structure, on the bottom part there is again a structure which is called the tongue and on the two sides there are cheeks. This part, this roof of the buccal cavity is known as palate. So it makes the roof of the buccal cavity. The anterior part is bony and the posterior part is cartilaginous. We'll talk about it in a minute. So what exactly is buccal cavity? Mouth opens into a small area called vestibule and then it, suppose if I draw the incisor here, then this area would be the vestibule. And then it opens into a space. This space has at the roof, palate, at the floor, tongue and the two sides are the cheeks. So this structure is the tongue. Now we are talking about the palate part uh, in the first category. So in buccal cavity, we have to talk about palate. Then we'll discuss about teeth, tongue and various salivary glands. So we are starting with palate. So as we said, it makes the roof of the buccal cavity. Its anterior part is bony because it is supported by bones. Anteriorly, there is upper jaw bone that is maxilla and on the inner side, there is palatine bone. So it is bony due to maxilla and palatine bones. So anterior part that means this much part we can say is bony part and the posterior part is soft and cartilaginous. Posterior part is soft and cartilaginous. To understand this, if we can put our tongue just behind the upper incisors and roll back that tongue on the roof, that is on the palate, 
we find that the anterior part is hard and as the tongue starts to touch the back part, it becomes softer. So this much part is bony palate or hard palate and the posterior part is known as soft palate. And as we move our tongue on the palate, we also realize that when it is moving on the anterior part, that is on the hard palate, the surface is not smooth. The surface has these kind of ridges or rough area, which is known as palatine rug. So here we will write anterior or hard palate. has palatine rugs and this is actually a rough area, rough in the sense with ridges so that it can provide grip when the animals are eating their food or trying to eat the food. These palatine rugs are best developed or most developed in carnivores. Most developed in carnivores because when carnivores are eating the meat pieces they have to have the grip because they're cutting or tearing the flesh using their canines and this is the part which is going to provide a grip on that flesh or meat piece so anterior is bony and that is what is known as hard palate. Posterior is soft, has cartilaginous support inside and that's why it is known as soft palate. One more interesting thing is that this posterior part that is at the end of the soft palate, there is a small structure which is sort of hanging. This structure is known as uvula uvula and its role is that it's going to close the opening internal opening of the nasal chamber this internal opening is known as uh, internal nares so when we are swallowing at that time this uvula is going to bend backwards and it will close this internal nair so if we have to write about uvula it is extension of soft palate and it closes internal nares while swallowing. When we are swallowing the food at that time this uvula closes the internal nares. And we have all seen this many a times in cartoon animations. They normally show when a cartoon screams, they show the open mouth and there is something which is moving. That is actually the structure. So we have seen that structure. It is a small extension of the soft palate. Couple of more important things about uh, buccal cavity and this palate part. About buccal cavity, we can add one more specific information that it is lined with non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. That means the epithelium which lines the entire buccal cavity is stratified. There are layers and the layers are of squamous cells. That means they are flat cells and non-keratinized. That means there is no keratin deposition in those cells. This is one thing. Another important thing again coming back to palate is earlier it was believed that palate has all the taste buds. Later on, it was found out that maximum taste buds are on the tongue, but there are scattered few taste buds on the palate also. And that is why tasty food is also known as palatable. So, 
palate also has few taste buds and the top palatable for tasty food is given because earlier it was believed that only palate has the taste buds now quick recap of what exactly this structure is we are talking about the area that is buccal cavity mouth is the opening of alimentary canal anterior opening it is guarded by two lips as soon as we enter into the mouth we come to a small area that is called vestibule it is between lips and the teeth and then the cavity which is behind teeth is called buccal cavity buccal cavity is guarded by roof which is made up of palate floor which is of tongue and on two sides there are cheeks and in this segment we are talking about palate that is the roof of the buccal cavity the palate is divided into two parts on the basis of what is the internal structure the anterior part has bony support there are two bones which are supporting just anteriorly it is the upper jaw that is maxilla and then the entire anterior palate this much part is supported by palatine bone so here would be palatine bone and that is why the anterior part of the palate is known as hard palate or bony palate the posterior part it is supported by cartilage and that is why it is softer so it is known as soft palate the soft palate is extended into a small hanging structure known as uvula which closes the internal nares when we are swallowing anterior part of the palate that is hard palate has a slight rough surface it has ridges these are known as palatine rugs these palatine rugs provide grip on the food so that the animal can uh, grab that food properly and it is most developed in carnivores taste buds they are found but they are very few in number and tasty food was called or is called palatable because earlier it was believed that all the taste buds are on the palate so this is first part of buccal cavity that is palate the next structure that we will take up in the next video would be teeth